How's it going guys, Jackson with the Toaster Bros, and today I'm going to be showing you how I fixed my Anet A6 3D printer. Hope you guys enjoy. So as you all can see, I haven't really zoomed in on this extruder mechanism, so you can see here we have the 3D printer filament going here. This is just a PLA and I believe it's a 1.75. So what exactly had happened was I was in the middle of a really long print. I actually had just pretty much fallen asleep because it was like an 8 hour print. So I wake up in the morning all excited to see my print only to find out that it only printed like halfway and I was like okay what the heck happened well um, all of a sudden you know I could not get the 3d printer to print again like everything was working all the motors um, and steppers and everything were moving properly but the filament was just not feeding probably the stepper motor inside here that basically feeds the filament sorry about that pain on my hand by the way guys so it's basically a stepper motor that feeds the filament so <clears throat> you know I'm looking inside of here which I'm getting ready to take this apart so don't worry so you guys kind of get an idea of what exactly I had to do to fix it. I'm watching as it's printing and I can see the stepper motor actually stepping like it's supposed to so I'm like okay you know what the heck so I battled with this thing. for a while I just gave up I was just like okay screw this you know I don't have time to mess with it and then I kind of get back into it and I realized it was actually a pretty fairly easy fix so let's go ahead and tear this down. So this is actually really cool how this works if you haven't seen the inside of one before. Basically, whenever you press the spring mechanism down here, which keeps uh, like a preload on it, you're basically separating this cog right here, which is like a little brass cog. I don't know if it's actually brass or it's just brass colored. Um, but it, you separate those two so then they can go into this guide right here, this little bearing that you can see me going back and forth on like that. And then when you press it back together, this cog right here, you can see it's pretty sharp on the edges, and then from there it goes into the extruder. So here's exactly where the problem came in, because right now you're looking at it and everything's fine. So you guys see these tiny little screws right here. Well, these little hex or allen wrenches actually come with the kit. There's quite a few different sizes. Well, it's going to be the smallest one they include. Well, these screws, if they come loose, what will happen is your little cog or guide right here will actually slide to a different spot on this little rod here, which the rod's connected to your motor that spins to actually step the, the filament down into the extruder. These screws somehow came loose, and I, I had never even taken this apart. It comes pre-assembled as a whole unit. Well, these screws that came loose, and this cog slid over here, like to the very end, like it was pretty much off the thing, so making it to where, until I took this apart, when I looked through here, because this is the only spot you can see is right through here, because normally this is covered, you can see into here. <clears throat> when I took this, before I took it apart, I could see this right here, the little metal rod spinning. And it did have tension on this. And it would actually sometimes move the filament just only a little bit and then it would start slipping and then it would move a little more and then it would slip. So obviously I didn't know what the inside of this looked like. I just assumed that, well everything's working fine, you know, I was getting ready to buy a whole new unit and then, you know, I was just like, okay, screw this, I'm taking it apart and I'm going to figure out what's wrong with it. Well, like I said... This seems to be, I read it on a couple other places, it's kind of a common problem, so I just want to show you guys just two simple screws to get it off to fix it, and then it's going to be the smallest Allen wrench, you're just going to uh, loosen these if they're not already loose from it sliding, put it back where it needs to go, tighten it, and everything should still be like under basically factory specs. Um, and then you can kind of go ahead and, you know, while you're in here, if your filament broke off, you might as well get it like re-centered and everything, because it can kind of be a little bit tricky once this is all back on. Sometimes um, it's at a slight angle to where it doesn't want to go back in, so you might as well go ahead and do that while it's taken apart. So as always, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, and subscribe for more content like this. We do all sorts of different content, such as custom gaming PCs. We do quite a few of just budget gaming PCs, and then we do a lot of really cool, interesting, and random stuff like this. So we hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys later.